In this video, you will learn how to get an OpenAI API key and how you can use it in any application. The first step is to navigate to platform.openai.com and log in. And then you can log in here with either your email address or your Microsoft or whatever account. So I'm going to use my Microsoft account. And as soon as you've logged into platform.openai.com, you're going to navigate to dashboard. And then the left side uh, in this menu, you're going to navigate to API keys. And here you will see all the API keys that I've already created. So you see the name, the, the secret key, um, the date when it has been created. And here you can as well change the name and you can as well delete the key. So in order to create a new key, you're going to click here on create new secret key. I'm just going to call this one OpenAI API demo. Then you can here choose the uh, permissions that you want to provide. So in this case, I'm just going to provide all permissions. I'm going to click on create secret key. And then you can copy the key here and you can take it to your Python script or any other script that you're working on. So I've created a small Python script here and you can download this script from my website. There is a link to my website in the description of this video. And I've also created a .env file here and this allows you to separate your API key from your actual code. So it's a bit more secure. So I'm going to paste my API key here with Ctrl V. And I'm going to navigate back to main.py because in, in order to actually use this .env file, you need to import the load.env library. And of course, in order to use OpenAI, you also need to import the OpenAI library. So we're going to need pip install python dash dot env. So that's the library that allows us to communicate with the dot env file. In my case, the requirement is already satisfied. And then of course, you're going to need pip install OpenAI in order to work with the OpenAI library. And once you've done all of that, you can run this piece of code on your machine and you will see the result right here. If you want to learn more about Python and OpenAI, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I hope to see you in one of my next videos.